my name is Lori Queen, and I am the mother of Austin Queen and captain of Team of Queens. What does a day like today mean to you? A uh, day like today brings um, awareness to suicide. Um, I wasn't really aware of suicide as much until my son committed suicide. So it's good to get out and have the support of others that are affected by suicide. Can you tell me about Austin? Um, Austin um, passed away two days before he turned 19. Um, he had had multiple brain injuries in his life and um, is actually a legacy of the Concussion Legacy Foundation after sustaining five concussions in his short life. Um, he was funny, go-getter, always gave everybody a hug and was a friend to anybody who met him. How important is it to share his story for your healing process? It's important to share the story of Austin to keep their name alive. Um, as much as he might be gone in body, um, he will always be a part of our lives. So to hear his name and to say his name keeps his memory alive and keeps him alive in our hearts. I'm Donovan. I'm Lisa. And we are here for Teddy. Teddy. So what does today's event mean to you? Um, I think it's really important to gather together as a community to show that mental health matters and that you have people that are willing to fight for you and that you matter and that you are loved. That's what it means to me. I think it's great to show like empathy to those who are going through the same struggles that you're going through. It really helps people go through that dark path, you know. Can you tell me about Teddy? Um, he's my um, brother. He's younger than me by nine months. And he was in the um, infantry in Colorado. He's very strong, brave. He's funny. He laughs at everything. And yeah, he's a good person. Yeah, so t this is my girlfriend, obviously. And um, Teddy, we had, I had met him about five years ago, and I always thought he was a really good dude. He had good intentions with his life, and he always like brought joy to people around him that he loved most. So, yeah. How does talking about Teddy help your own healing process? Um, I think it's still pretty hard. He passed away nine months ago, um, and we were really close. So to me, I'm still trying to come to terms with it and stuff. And I think it is hard because we're so close in age. So, but talking about it, I think it may help someone else, maybe another soldier, um, maybe, or someone else in general, like anyone around here just know that you are loved and that there are resources for you to reach out to to help yeah back to what she was saying I think it's just help really helpful to those who are going through the same stuff and you know I just try to show a lot of support for her you know and I, I think that Teddy will have a greater message now that unfortunately he's gone but I think that he has way more power than he'll ever imagine uh, this will be my 13th walk. Uh, 13 years ago, I lost my brother, Chad, to suicide. Um, two years ago, I lost a staff member to suicide. So um, mental health awareness uh, and keeping their memory alive is very important to me. Can you tell me about your brother? Sure. He was 30 years old, and he had a lot going on. He was a great person. Loved fishing, loved the outdoors, loved his daughter. But unfortunately, he didn't get the help that he needed. And he didn't have that person to talk to. So again, mental health awareness and supporting those that are hurting inside is so important. How does, since you said you've been to this event a lot of times every year, yeah. how does this event and then sharing your brother's story help your own healing process? Um, being here and walking with others, every year I run into someone new and I'm able to hear their story and share my story and that's really important. Okay, it's important for me to be here today because um, I know people who have and are currently struggling with their mental illness and it seems to be a, a huge issue. Um, and you know, I just want to do my part to support. I, it makes me feel really good that I'm, you know, making an effort to do something to support the cause um, because I know how important it is. And, and um, so many people suffer in silence. And um, I just think 
everyone should try to do their part to bring awareness. So what it means to me to be here today? Well, it means an opportunity to acknowledge my grandfather and a friend of mine who took their lives um, and are truly missed. Uh, my, grandmother, my grandfather passed uh, when my mom was five years old. And so um, we didn't get an opportunity to have them as part of our lives. So um, I walk for them and I walk for as well for uh, all those LGBTQ youth who uh, deal with um, mental health issues and depression and, and all that because of the issues of, of coming out and all and uh, to let them know they're not alone. And don't, don't dislike or hate those have cut, that have gone because of suicide or mental illness. They had an illness. And if we can get more support for them, that would be beautiful. Because in the time that my father died, I was five and 79 years old. At that time, there was not very much support. So if we can take care of that, we can avoid this for all. Thank you.